Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh and a very good day to everyone. So today we'll discuss tutorial 3 sequences and series. So I will show you uh, a few a few solutions and then the rest of the question you can do it on your own. So now let's start for 1A. So find the n term and the 20th term of the arithmetic sequence. So we have 1, 5, 9, and 13. So you can highlight the word arithmetic sequence there. So for arithmetic sequence, we must know, we must determine. So what is the first term, which is A, and what is the difference? Okay, so, to, so from this given sequence, so you know that A is equal to 1. So that's the first term. And then the D, you can find by 5 minus 1, which is equal to 4. Or you can find by 9 minus 5 or 13 minus 9. So since this is arithmetic sequence, so you know that the n term of arithmetic sequence, so the formula is Tn is equal to A plus N minus 1 D. So, you just substitute in the value of 1 and D. So, you have 1 plus and then you have N minus 1 and then times 4. So, you can simplify this. You can simplify this. Then, I get 1 plus 4N minus 4. So, this will give you 4N minus minus 3. So, this is the TN. So, next... You have to find the 20, uh, 20th term. So, means that you can substitute N by 20. So, you have T20 is equal to 4 times 20 minus minus 3. So, which give you the answer 77. Okay, so this is how we answer this question. So, the keywords here is arithmetic sequence. So from here, you get you find A, you find D, and then substitute into the formula of n term. Then you get uh, n term, uh, the sim simplified form of n term. And then to find the 20th term, you just substitute in the n by, by 20. Is that clear? For question 1b, so you can do it on your own. So you have to find the 80th term of an arithmetic sequence of this sequence. Okay. So now let me show you uh, answer for number 2. How, so, how can we answer this kind of question? So show that. Show that. Show that the sequence with sum of the first n terms. So this is the Sn equal to 3n squared plus 5n is an arithmetic sequence. So next only you can find the first term and the common difference. So the first task is showing. How to show that uh, er, this is arithmetic sequence. So, so what to do is what you have to find the n first. So how to find the n? So, in lecture, you have learned that Tn is equal to Sn minus Sn minus 1. Okay. So, just substitute in Sn is uh, 3n squared plus 5n. And then Sn minus 1 is Sn where the n you should substitute by n minus 1. So from there you get 3 times n minus 1 to the power of 2 plus 5 and then n minus 1. So close the bracket. Okay, so you have to expand this. So you have 3n squared plus 5n minus, okay, and big bracket here you can, you can expand this first. So you have 3 n squared minus 
to n plus 1. And then plus 5n minus 5. Okay, so again, you simplify further. So you have 3n squared plus 5n minus 3n squared. So you have 3n squared here. Minus 6n and then plus 3 plus 5n minus 5. So 3n squared minus 3n squared, 0. So 5n minus 5n. So what's left here? So from here you will get 6n. Here is negative 2. So negative, negative, positive. So the answer is 6n plus 2. So next we find d. So to find d, to find d, so that d is equal to tn minus tn minus 1. So from here you know the tn. Tn. So just, just substitute in. So you have 6n plus 2. And then minus 6 times n minus 1 plus 2. So again, you simplify this. Then we'll get 6n minus 6n here. Finish. 2 minus 2. Finish. Then finally, the answer is equal to 6. So 6 is a scalar. 6 is a scalar. So what can you conclude is that since, since D is a scalar, since D is a scalar, so therefore, so the sequence is, the sequence is arithmetic sequence. Okay, so where, so the D is equal to 6. And then what is the first term? So the first term should be T1, which is equal to 6 times 1 plus 2. So which is equal to 8. Is that clear, everyone? So for question number 3 and number 4, you can try it on your own first. Then later we'll discuss this in class.